Hi and welcome to another episode of the Magic of Go series. In this video we're going to talk about the longest period of time known to Go players and about the unbending nature of the Japanese rules. Here we go. If just like me you've been playing Go by the Japanese rules, then you've probably heard people saying something like, oh, the Japanese rules are not perfect, they leave a lot of the areas ambiguously undefined, and this is not right, and this is not quite right, and yes, that seems to be true. Just to give you an, an idea of the traditionalist nature of Japan, the latest rendition, to the best of my knowledge, of the Japanese rules was made in 1989, which means that today we're playing by the rules that are almost as old as me. But hey, what's that in a game that's a few thousand years old, right? But before we get to any of the rules disputes and game examples, I want to show you a position that is tightly connected with one of them. This is quite a standard corner pattern. This white group is not alive yet. If it's Black's turn, Black can attach, then extend here. This is now the key point for both, so White takes it, Atari, and now it's very important for White to maximize his eye space. After this, Black can even capture the stone. White will connect, and the position is left like this for a very long time, maybe till the end of the game, because it's not clear how to finish this. Let's see how it works. At some point later in the game, Black will fill these liberties, and now this seems to be Ko, but how to win this? Let's say if White wants to live unconditionally, then white has to start the co. White cannot approach. White takes here. And then with the next move, white can't connect like this because this is a dead group. So white has to approach. And now black gets a chance to take the co first and attack white. So white wants to start the co, but then black takes the co first. Now let's see the other example. Let's say black wants to kill white. How can he do that? Black cannot connect like this. This is going to be Seki. So if Black wants to attack, this is the only move, or the other one. And now, White will take this Ko first. So if Black wants to attack, White has the advantage. So in this position, whoever wants to attack first finds himself at a disadvantage, just like in Seki. And so this position is very often left unplayed till the end of the game. Because nobody wants to start, nobody wants to play first. And then, at the end of the game, very often, what happens is that Black will take this stone, and then connect here, and this will become Seki. This position is known as a 10,000 year ko. Why 10,000 years, you ask me? Well, simply because, first of all, 10,000 is a very common measuring unit in both China and Japan. So, when we count things in only in thousands, they count them in tens of thousands. And even have a special character for that. And metaphorically, this character also means a very large quantity of something. So apparently, this is how long it would take for this position to be resolved. And now with this in mind, let's see a position from a very old Japanese game. And by old, I mean it was played before the Japanese rules were actually written. This game was played in 1928 between Segoe Kinsaku as white and Takahashi Shigeyuki as black. And in case you're wondering who Segoe Kinsaku was, he was not only one of the strongest players in the, of the first half of the 20th century, obviously, but he was mostly famous for being the teacher of other very strong players, namely Go Seigen, Hashimoto Taro, and the young Cho Hun Hyun from Korea. This is a two-stone handicap game, and at first glance, everything seems to be very simple. White is winning the game easily. Those stones are dead, and that's it, right? And then this happened, and this is exactly what we saw earlier. This is a 10,000-year ko. For very obvious reasons, White doesn't want to continue to play here. Because first of all, if White connects like this, then Black can just add another stone. And this is a six stone dead shape. The rabbit is six. So White dies. And if White wants to fight this Ko, then after this Atari, Black will take the Ko first. And White wouldn't be able to find a big enough Ko threat. And this White group would probably die. So White just carried on with the endgame and didn't want to do anything about this. As if saying to Black that, hey, why don't you just, uh, you know, take that stone and uh, connect and let's make it a Seki. 
but black doesn't really want to capture that stone and uh, make a seki. You know why? Because black is going to lose the game if he does that, that's why. So black said, wait a minute, but we have a ko on the board and it's, uh, if it's left unplayed, if it's not resolved, then the game cannot be finished. Does that look like a draw to you? And then how do you force black to do that if there are no official rules anywhere? That seemed like a reasonable question at the time. Today, if this position happened in one of the games, this would still be seki. Even if black doesn't want to capture this, but black can capture and gain one extra point, but still it will be seki. At that time, the game was left unfinished for a month. And then after a lot of discussion, Honimbo Shusai made a very curious ruling that we had never seen before, and you're very unlikely to ever hear this again. The ruling was, white won, but black didn't lose. And it's a very Japanese way of looking at things. Everybody saves face, everybody is the winner. But this does seem a little bit unfair to white, because white is clearly winning in this game, and then this happened. And this was one of the last straws that led to the eventual creation of the official written rules of Go in Japan. But mind it, it happened only 20 years after this game, in 1949. I know, it seems that in this video I'm criticizing the Japanese rules too much. But I should tell you that this is still my favorite rule set of them all. That's the one that I use most of the time. And the reasonable part of my brain understands that there are many areas that are not covered in the Japanese rules. Like for example, the bent forward in the corner is always dead and many other things. But there is some inherent beauty and elegance about them as well. Like for example, the idea that when you play inside your territory, every move there loses you some points. And this forces you to be creative and inventive in your defense. You have to be as efficient as possible and play as few moves there as you can. But this element is completely absent from the Chinese rules, for example. There you can play as many moves inside your territory as you want, and it doesn't cost you anything. It's these little things here and there that make this Japanese rule set so special for me personally. But what I'm actually saying here is that you shouldn't listen to me or anyone else. Try all the different rule sets for yourself and see whichever one feels more natural to you. And then use that one. It's time for problems, and as always, let's see the solution to the previous one first. White makes a very tricky invasion here. And how to deal with this? It's both beautiful and very good to know. First of all, black connect here. White tries this move and honey. Here, white throws in, trying to eliminate this eye. But now black can throw in like this. White has to take Atari. Again, white doesn't have a choice here. White has to capture. But now black can capture back. White captures back. And black finally connects. And then here we have a double co. Now, it doesn't matter even if white Atari is from the outside. Black can capture either stone. For example, this one. And white can have as many co threats as he wants. Uh, after a co threat, white takes this stone, black takes the other one. So sooner or later, black is going to win this co, and black will be alive. And here's one more problem. And just as promised, it's actually very similar to the position from the beginning of this video. Except it's a little different. White to play. What can white do with this corner? What's the best result here? And I'll see you again next time. This is Go Matching.